Hi everyone, thanks for joining us in this video. This is Daniel Maldonado and I am part of the Analytics TFC team for AWS. In this session, I will talk you about OpenSearch data streams. This functionality was introduced in Amazon OpenSearch from version 1.0 and later and help us to simplify management of time series data such as logs, metrics and traces. In this video, I, I will provide some background of the service, how it works, and I will do a demonstration and will provide some additional resources to get started. Let's start defining what is a data stream. A data stream is used to store up and only time series data across multiple indices. While giving you a single name resource for request, data streams are well suited for logs, events, metrics, and other continuously generated data. Previously, a typical workflow to manage a time series data involved multiple steps such as creating a role over index alias, defining a right index, and defining common mappings and settings for the backing indices. Data streams help simplify the initial setup process and are designed to work out of the box for time-based data such as application logs that are typically happen only in nature. With data streams, once you define an index template and configure the rollover criteria in an index state management, you can start ingesting data state away. Uh, data streams can help automatically create the necessary right index, backing indices, and based on your ISM policy, will roll over indices in a data stream from hot to warm and warm to cold. Okay, now let's do a demonstration. Uh, to do that, we are gonna use the open search uh, dashboard console. Okay, well, we are here and where, as you can see, we have different options. Uh, if we take a look in the uh, right in the left side uh, we have an icon for the home page and an, a, a kind of hamburger icon where you have different options but if you go to the uh, index management section you can check all the information regarding the existing indexes the index policies the data streams where as you can see, we still don't have any data stream and that is the intention of this uh, demonstration. Uh, we have uh, the index templates, the aliases, etc. And something important, you can perform most of the task from here, from the graphical user interface, or you can do it from the command line. Okay, well, we are gonna do it from the command line. To do that, let's move back to the uh, homepage and in the upper right side, we have the DevTools interface. If we click over there, we uh, have the, the command line interface. Okay, well, the first thing that we are going to do as part of this demonstration is to create an index template. And the index template will configure a set of indices as a data stream. And we are going to use this code where you can see that we are using the put command specifying that this is an index template and the name of the index template in this case is logs hyphen template uh, another important thing is that in the index patterns we are including the pattern name of my data stream in this case the pattern name is logs hyphen we are going to use this uh, pattern name when we create our data stream okay and we have an object called data stream this indicates that this is not a regular index template but this is a data stream index template okay let's execute this code okay well uh, the next step is to create data stream okay and we are going to use the data stream api to do that and as I mentioned previously we can do it from here using the command line or we can do it uh, using the graphical user interface here right if we go to the data stream section and click here in data stream 
you can create it as well okay but let's do it from the devtools interface using the put uh, command we are specifying that this is gonna be a data stream and the name of the data stream in this case the name is logs hyphen redis okay let's execute it perfect okay and we can confirm here from the graphical user interface in the data stream section that our data stream is created okay well let's move back to the uh, command line because the next step is to ingest data into our data stream and we are going to use the regular indexing api and it's important to make sure that every document that we index has a timestamp field because if we try to ingest a document that doesn't have a timestamp field we will get an error okay let me include the code here let's run this command we are ingesting a, a new document in our uh, data strip now let's get some uh, information about uh, our recently created data stream if you if we use the get command specifying that this is the data stream and the name of the data stream we can get some relevant information where as you can see uh, uh, we have uh, in this case only one document created we can uh, get additional statistics about our data streams if we add to the command line the stats endpoint okay let's run it and we we are getting additional information for instance if you can see here we have the backing indices in this case we only have one backing index there is another command using the get command we we could get the information about all the existing data streams in this case if we don't specify the name of a specific data stream we can get the information about all the existing data streams in this case we only have one and that is the information that we are getting again with the uh, index id ending in zero one that that is important okay well uh, we can use another uh, get command to make a search in our uh, data stream in this case uh, we can make a search just like we search a regular index or an index alias and we can use this code where as you can see we specify the name of the data stream and the endpoint search to make a search in this data stream where as you can see we only have one document and if i add an additional document all this is before making the rollover correct well if i i'm gonna add a new document here i'm gonna run this code again okay and make a search again using uh, this command for a regular search and as you can see i have another new, new document and both of them ending with zero one right because i haven't uh, perform a rollover process that is the next step and if you remember from the presentation the rollover process is used to differentiate the new indices coming up uh, where we use the rollover api to assign an alias or wildcard to the new indices and also a, a rollover operation creates a new backing index that becomes the data streams new write index okay let's use the following command to perform a manual rollover okay perfect well then as you can see here the original index ending with zero one was the uh, here and uh, after the rollover we are creating a new index ending with zero two okay if i run again the to get some statistics you will see that now we have two backing indices okay and 
if I add a new document in, in my data stream, let's do it with this command. And if I perform a search, a regular search again, let's see that now we have three documents, but the last one ending with the zero two. And th that is because of the rollover process. Okay. Well, the last step is to delete my data stream. And as I mentioned previously, you can do it from the uh, user interface. If you go to the management, uh, the index management section into the data streams, you can uh, choose your data stream, click here in actions and to delete the data stream, right? But we are going to do it using the command line and we are going to use the delete command. In this example, using the delete uh, operation, uh, this will first delete the backing indices on the data stream and then will delete the data stream itself. Then I'm going to run it. It's done. And I'm going to confirm in the index management section that my data stream was deleted. That is what we cover as part of this demo. As a summary, we can say that in this video, we learn about data streams and how it can help you easily manage indexes. For further details, please refer to the below documentation. And I hope you found this useful and we'll see you in the next video.